Hello everybody, this is Alchemist Negra. Oh, you guys stretch your back and sometimes, oh. Oh, you know you, be, you sit in those chairs at your job all day and it hurt, it ends up hurting your back. So um, this is a reading for cancer because I know you all would care because you're cancers. <laughs> so let's see, cancer, well, for the rest of the month. Love for the rest of the month. Cancer. Cancer, cancer. Cancer, love for the rest of the month. Okay. Okay. Cancer, love for the rest of the month. Mm, my cancers. Cancer. For the rest A little Z duck, just a shout out. Okay, so, um, if you're single, Cancer, I feel like you feel that you've done too much in love because i see the ten of wands like i feel like you've just done you've just done is that right look i was a science major i don't know but you feel like you've done too much when it comes to trying to find love and at the same time you're very guarded with the nine of wands like you really don't really trust too many people, you're afraid you're going to get hurt again, and, and you're kind of going through the cycle of this, this person ain't ish. This person ain't ish. None of these sticks is good enough type vibe. But with the Queen of Wands, you're still going out there, but it's just getting tiring. Like, I see you're still putting in the effort, but it's just getting tiring. With an A, oh, oh yeah, and if you're in a relationship, I feel like maybe you're just tired of taking on everything, um, and you're kind of you kind of don't trust this person that much right now because you're you've had to put in so much. But I see the star card. I think renewal is coming, so you shouldn't feel too sad about this energy that you feel. Because renewal and revival is coming. And the Four of Wands is coming. A celebration is coming. Maybe you're going to go out to the club this month. Or I'm sorry, these few next days. Maybe you're going to go to a social gathering. And if you're single, maybe that's where you'll meet someone. Or you'll see someone you've already been talking to. In a good way. You won't see them talk with anybody else. I don't see that here. Um, five of swords, um, if you're single in the past, you just, you were just like fighting with a lot of people, a lot of love interests, because I feel for you, Cancer, they just did not appreciate you the way they should have. I, I, I watched Amber Khan with The Quietest Revolution, and she was saying like, people don't value the ocean they take advantage of the ocean all the time. And I feel like maybe that's the vibe that single cancers are going through right now. Um, but the eight of wands just tells you that things are going to look up, be playful. Um, don't, I would say if you're single, don't, be too serious 
but that might be the card I'm about to clarify for you because everything else makes sense. But I'm going to clarify this card for you. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Interesting. Clarify the Eight of Wands. No, I don't feel that. Um, so the clarification is like, you know, just, just go into dating, not thinking with the Ace of Swords or, you know, you know what? I'm thinking of the wrong card with the Ace of Swords. Don't go in without thinking with the Ace of Swords, um, come in with a new way of thinking. Enter into the space with a different mindset because what I see is like constant disappointment and you can't let that constant disappointment drive how you see love. And if you're in a relationship, you can't let the constant disappointment drive your relationship. Um, and then I see the queen of swords energy. Just remember, like don't internalize, if you're in a relationship, don't internalize how they might be treating you. Especially because I feel like it'll be better. And I feel like right now it might be better for cancers who are in a relationship and they feel there might be they might be tired of giving with the ten of so ten of wands. Just kidding, the ten of swords is worse. Ten of wands, um, it might do you good to do the queen of swords and be independent and um maybe cut some ties for a little bit because sometimes they say cancers get too attached or they or they don't feel like they get the attention that they always want so sometimes if you just stay by yourself and you remember all the good stuff that you can give yourself those people will realize they miss a cancer because cancers are so caring and they'll come back with the star. The same goes with being single. It might just be saying, you know, cut all these people that are not on your playing and they don't want to love you and stuff and love yourself. I hate to say that. I hate saying that. I hate when people say love your, I do love myself. Dang, I can't want a relationship. That's not what I'm telling you. But what I'm saying is like, you know, if you have a certain esteem for yourself, you just won't keep falling through the same rabbit hole, so to speak. Like you won't keep on taking on all of this and not getting reciprocated for it. So <clears throat> just so you can see all the cars, Ten of Wands, you know, you're tired, tired of carrying everything. Queen of Wands, but you are putting your best foot forward. Nine of Wands, you're defensive because of all the things you've been through. Um, but Four of Wands, I feel like there's going to be a good ending, a resolution. Maybe you're going to some events and you run into them or you run into somebody better. Um, ace, oh my god, I forgot to do the ace of pentacles. Um, hmm. yeah, maybe this person might want to build with you. I'm thinking in terms of love and not in terms of money. Maybe this person has a lot of money. Uh, could be. Five of um, swords, you know, you were tired of the same old, same old conflict. Be more light, be more playful come in with a new idea and um be independent and for yourself with the queen of swords all right i hope that helped let me know how it went